As well as accessing and managing your subscription estate and being able to assign users and download and access your software, the Autodesk Management Portal has come leaps and bounds with regards to being able to visualize and access reporting information and metrics against the usage of your subscriptions, your tokens, and your products. As long as you're a primary or a secondary administrator, you can log into your, your portal at manage.autodesk.com. And on the left-hand side, you've got a whole section on reporting. Now you've got everything from um, insights, activity logs, all the way down to specific usage on seats um, and tokens. And what we're gonna do for this short video is just have a quick look at a couple of these to get you started. Now, if we go on to our usage report, this is by team. So inside of um, your Autodesk portal, you'll all be, I hope, familiar with teams and that you can have subscription contracts assigned to one or many different teams. So you would select the teams that you're wanting to look at. You can then choose the date range that you're wanting to report on. So in this case, I'm going to look from the 1st of January, 2023, to today. Against that time, didn't seem to take that, which is a little bit annoying. There we go. Make sure you press the apply button. So when we select our date range, we hit apply. Um, and this will go away and it will just extract that data, okay? Um, we can filter this, so I can go down and filter this based on access options, so just look at subscription or just look at flex. I can look at specific users, I can look at specific seats. I'm gonna leave all of these off, so I'm just gonna look at a default report, and you can see some, some basic instant information today and, and what's going on, average monthly usage, so on and so forth. And then I can see um, all of the usage against that particular period. I can customize the columns to say, I don't want to see the team. I don't need to see the access option because we only use subscription. I just need to see the days used and the monthly average. I'm also not that fussed about tokens. So we can customize this in any way we see fit and we can start getting some information. I can go against any of these and select them and I can gain more insights and more information with regards to that particular listing. And I can see against my user and this particular team, I can see all of the products within that um, um, portfolio that I have used. And I can see whether they are part of a collection or, or whether it's part of an individual subscription. And I can really get some nice feedback based on what that user is doing. I can tick these to select and start working on unassigning and reassigning licenses if they're barely used. So against this VRED subscription, apologies for my terrible clicking, there we go, against this VRED subscription or against this Upchain professional subscription which has had no activity on this account, I could directly unassign from here. So some really useful tools from a usage perspective. You can visualize anyone that isn't using the product and unassign that license. We can go into more detail against seat usage. Against all teams or an individual team, we can get summary, per product usage, or by user usage. So I can go in and look at, again, my own user here, and I can see what products I have used over a given period, in this case, the past three months. Again, this is all live metrics, and I can drive this in any way that I see fit. What we like to do particularly is get this data exported out. It exports to a simple CSV file, and against that export, we can go in and we can, um, we can control how that export comes into something like Power BI and do some real custom information or real custom dashboards from that data. We can do the same thing for token usage. We can do the same things for, um, uh, for old school cloud services, so on and so forth. What we have inside of this reporting is an easy way that we can gain access to the information that we want quickly and easily and access that or action that directly from that point in time.